Hey guys, welcome back to another session of The Life with Z. My name is Z, and you are welcome to this space where we talk about all things mind, money, hustle, and self-development. So today I wanna to talk to a specific group of people, um, and these are my people who have big ideas, who have plans, who have been planning for the last two years, who have been sitting on this idea, this big thing that they know is going to work. And I'm here to tell you, what are you waiting for? The time is now. You have planned enough. You have spoken to everybody. So it's time for you to take it out of your head, put it on paper, and bring it to reality. Because really, what are you waiting for? Today's session is gonna be very quick, very straight to it, because we are not going, I am literally not gonna be soft with you guys. I am gonna give it to you as you need to take it and tell you that it's time for you to get going. I'm gonna just give you guys a few signs and things that I think you should look out for that will tell you that the time is now because ain't nobody got time to wait. But firstly, I wanna say a quick thank you to you guys as usual for supporting me, for being a part of this platform, a part of this tribe. Make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, and you keep it coming. So yeah, let's get into it. One thing I always like to tell people is that, you know, ideas are not singular. That big plan, that big gem that you have in your head, guess what? Somebody else has the same idea. You are not the only person who has this big idea, this big plan, and who knows how to do it better than everybody else, who has all the necessary skills and has mapped it out. I like to think that, you know, when God drops these gems, right, he drops it and whoever picks it up and whoever decides to run with it and work with it is the person that is going to essentially start that movement is the person that may you know they may start before you but they may not finish best but they may finish first right so all i want to say is that all the ideas that you have you are not the only person with it but you are the one person who is with it now and who has the opportunity to make it into something so don't wait you have nothing to wait for the more you wait the more you see it happening around you the more you see other people doing it and you sit and you recline and you say to yourself damn i wish i started that thing when i had the opportunity to and i'm telling you you have the opportunity now my husband always says that it's not about who goes to market first but who goes to market best and there are more than enough people in this world in your market in your country that you can service so it doesn't matter whether or not somebody else is doing it the point is that you have a way of doing that thing and your way is definitely needed there is somebody out there who is waiting for you to start this big thing start that business to start training to just do what it is that is in you what it is that makes you happy what it is that you are passionate about that you have a god-given skill to share with the rest of the world but you're waiting what are you waiting for what exactly are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the right time? Because I'm here to tell you that there is no perfect time to start something. And the more you sort of sit on this idea, the more you procrastinate, you are not moving. And there is no action without movement. There is no moving forward without actually taking a step. And you need to get to that position where it is that you are tired of being stagnant, where you are tired of just sitting and waiting and all this planning that you're doing and bear in mind i'm a planner right i think it's important to plan and get things in place but you can actually plan yourself into paralysis you can plan yourself so much that you don't do anything because you're still planning i am here to ask you that all important question when is the right time when really is the right time we are in a pandemic we are in a moment where everybody has the same amount of time to catch up is it when you're five years older is it when you've gotten married and you've had kids or is it when you've seen other people do it or when you've gotten tired the right time is when you say you are ready just in case you missed that the right time is when you say you are ready so some of you say you're waiting for the right people, you're waiting for the right destiny helpers, you're waiting for somebody to plug you in and give you the right opportunities. And like we've said here before, you are the plug that you are looking for. You are the plug that you are looking for. You don't need to wait for anybody, you just need to go and you need to start. You can network with people, have the right people around you, but your destiny, your blessing, your idea is not dependent on anybody else except the person who's going to drive it. And who is that? That's you. Next, some of you may say you're waiting for money, right? You're waiting for money to start these things. And like we've mentioned before, 
There are ways that you can generate income, extra income for yourself out of your day-to-day, -day, out of your day job that you can put aside and there are ways that you can grow that money in order for you to be able to start this business and start this idea and this thing that you have. If you just check out some of the videos that we've already put up before, I'm going to hopefully share some of them coming up on screen now and you'll be able to see how you can take a little bit of passion and turn it into profit, how you can take some of those skills and generate some income and how it is that you can take that money and make it stretch for you make it grow in little ways so that you can save a pot right if you really feel like you need a bit of money to start this thing some of you may be wondering okay Z I have this idea now what do I do next and I literally follow the rule of list just listing write it down what are the action steps that are going to take you from point A to point B if it's starting a business you have the idea what is the next step the next step is that I need to possibly do some market research. I need to see if people are interested in this business. So I'm going to do that. Or the next step is that I want to brand this business name, this amazing name that I have. So my next step is to do that. Or maybe I'm just gonna go straight in for it. I'm gonna go and look for some vendors and I'm gonna see how much it costs for me to get the things that I want to sell. And I'm going to do that. So make yourself a list of elements and items that you need to get through one step after the other. Take one bite after the other. You don't need to take the entire whole meal and eat it in one go because you will frustrate yourself. You will be overwhelmed. So I always say, take it one step after the other. One action plan, one action step after the other. Clear? Now I want to quickly talk about the three signs I believe that I have um, that will tell you that you are ready to start this idea. Three signs that will tell you that you have planned enough and it's time for you to go. That it's time for you to run with this idea and this big dream. So the first thing is, the first sign is, you talk about it with everybody. You have literally gone everywhere, talk to all your friends and say, hey, do you know what, I have this thing that I've been thinking about doing but I don't know where to start, and, but it just keeps tricking me. I keep dreaming about it. It's just everywhere and I want to do it. If you are that person that you are sitting there and you are talking everybody's ears off about how you have this idea, the time is now because that is a sign that you are ready for it. It is a sign that it is in you. It is in you 24 seven. It is a sign that you are passionate about it. It is a sign that you wanna share it. The moment you can talk to another person about it and you're consistently talking to another person, it is a sign that you are ready to share it with the world. So wait no more. So the second sign that I think shows that you are ready to move, you're ready to go, is when you start to feel uncomfortable. When you start to feel like, oh, this job that I'm in or this thing that I'm currently doing, it's okay. You know, it doesn't ginger me. So it becomes a little bit slower for you in the morning to, you know, get up for work and do that thing that you're used to or, you know, to follow the status quo. Or you just, you just can't put your finger on it, but you know that you're not really quite feeling yourself. When you are in a position or you are in a place where change is ready for you and you are ready for change, you will start to feel uncomfortable. That box, that comfort box that you used to live in will start to feel a little bit tight. You will feel like you need to stretch, but you can't put your finger on it. And that thing that you can't put your finger on is your desire to want more, is your desire to do more. And so I am telling you that when you are uncomfortable, it is probably time that you stretch, that you stretch with that idea, that you stretch with that business. And again, you wait no more. And now the third and last sign that I feel like screams to you that it is time for you to move forward with this idea, with this thing, is when fear is no longer an option is when you've told yourself, okay, what's the worst that could happen? So what if I fail? So what if nobody buys my goods? So what if nobody follows my, you know, my blogging page or nobody reads my stuff? So what if I don't get any brand deals as an influencer? I need to do this. I need to move forward. I need to try it. That is when you know, that is the last key. That is the last piece to the puzzle that says this person is ready because you cannot move forward if you are still carrying your bags of fear. You cannot try new if you are still concerned about what everybody else is going to say. So when it is that you have no more fear, that is when you are ready to go there.
but I hope that those quick signs, those quick tips were useful. Um, I know that I threw them at you really quickly, but I really want you guys to ask yourself, are you currently happy not doing this thing? Are you currently happy not trying that new thing, not trying that goal, that dream? Are you comfortable where you are? If you know that you are not, then it is time for you to push, it is time for you to burst out, and it's time for you to wait no more. So drop a comment, let me know what you're thinking, let me know what your big idea is, let me know what your action steps are going to be, and make sure you continue to subscribe, you continue to like, and of course you join our mailing list, because like I said, we've been working on something um, for you guys, for you people, for my dreamers, for those who are ready to take their next steps, I am going to show you how to do it. Uh, so make sure you're following us on all of our socials and I will see you guys real soon. That is me out. Peace, love, and all the above.